Hello and welcome back to Linus and Chalk, where today I'll be teaching you how you can perform redirects with any type of nunchucks. I have been getting a lot of comments recently where people have been telling me that because they have wooden nunchucks or their nunchucks are connected by a chain, that they can't perform redirects. However, today I'll be showing you how anyone with any set of nunchucks can learn and perform redirects. This video is part of a series where I discuss beginner fundamentals in a very thorough way. If you'd like to see the other tutorials that are part of this series, be sure to either click up here or check the link in the description below. So let's get started by discussing a concept that is not only important for redirects, but all types of nunchuck spinning. This concept is that because of some very fun physics, the end portion of the nunchuck hurts more than the inner portion of the nunchuck when you get hit by it. This is why when you're performing most nunchuck moves, you're only sticking to the center part of your nunchuck, so only between where my hands are now. For example, when you're performing a simple horizontal grab, when you swing the nunchuck in front of your body horizontally and into the other hand, you grab the nunchuck towards the top and not towards the end. Another move that shows this concept really well is your strike and tuck. Instead of tucking at the end of the nunchuck, you're tucking further up to avoid hitting yourself with the end portion. The key to this and how it relates to your redirects is that you always wanna avoid having the end portion come into contact with your body when you're performing redirects. There are a few different ways you can do this. The first of which is to bring this portion of the nunchuck that you're swinging into contact with your body as you're performing your redirect. So for instance, as I'm swinging the nunchuck, I bring this top portion of the nunchuck that I'm swinging, so where I'm holding onto right now, into contact with whatever I'm trying to perform my redirect off of. Allow that part to slightly rotate around so that the end portion avoids hitting you. The chain should remain mostly extended as you're performing this because you're touching this portion of the nunchuck to your body, so this part right here, and not the chain. If you're trying to redirect off your hand, this is what it would look like. You're touching the top portion, allowing the nunchuck to rotate around before having the nunchuck switch directions and go the other way around. While this method is quite quick and allows you to perform quick and easy redirects, if you're spinning your nunchucks harder, it may not be enough. So what you want to do instead is give the nunchucks more time to slow down. You do this by allowing the chain to wrap slightly around whatever you're performing your redirect off of. So instead of simply having the top of the nunchuck that you're swinging collide with whatever you're performing your redirect, this time what you're doing is you're allowing the chain part of the nunchuck to collide first and then the other end of the nunchuck to wrap around slightly, giving you more time to slow down the nunchuck and safely perform your redirect. So in this case, the first point of collision is on the chain and not the nunchuck that you're swinging. This is important because it'll give you a bit more time to slow down your nunchuck before performing your redirect. This works especially well if the chain or string between your nunchucks is longer. For contrast, the first redirect that I explained looks like that where you're reflecting the nunchuck off of the top portion of the nunchuck and not the chain. The second version looks like this, where you're grabbing more towards the chain, allowing the nunchuck to revolve further around before slowing down. You still wanna have the point at which you're performing your redirect off of the chain be closer to the nunchuck that you're swinging and not the nunchuck that you're holding on to. The third style of redirect is to touch the top part of the nunchuck to whatever you're performing your redirect off of. This works really well if you have a shorter chain or string between your nunchucks. This is also the slowest type of redirect, but it'll give you the most time to adjust and start to learn redirects if you do it carefully. However, if you have nunchucks with a longer chain like these ones, then you'll have more difficulty performing this because the end part of the nunchuck will end up rotating around and hitting you. Another important thing to note is that what type of redirect is best for you will greatly depend on the style of nunchuck that you have. So be sure to start out by going slowly and performing them carefully so you can get a feel for it and figure out which type of redirect works best for you. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future. And go check out some other various nunchuck related tutorials that I have on my channel.